hey guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here thank you for stopping by today i really do appreciate your time and support on the channel so today i'm going to be doing day two look two with this elf 18 hit wonders this is new to the collection my mum got it for my birthday back in february um, and that's what it looks like and nona said to me um I don't think she meant this particular palette, I think she meant the Profusion Festival palette, why don't I do a blue, yellow and green look. But I was just thinking, why don't I do it with these? Um, obviously we've got the blue, green and yellow here. I've not used this palette before so it would give me the perfect opportunity to use it. Whereas I've used the Profusion Festival palette yesterday and I used it um, quite a lot when I got it as well. So yeah, I'm going to be using this one. I do need to get my Too Faced chocolate bar to use the white chocolate shade. So let me just pop off and get that. Okay. So yeah, I'm going in with the shade Peachy. Like I said, I've never used this palette before. I used it once last month when I did the collaboration with the ladies I do the collaboration with. And I used the shade Vibrant. But other than that, I've only swatched it. So I'd like to say thank you to Nona for requesting this look. I don't know how it's going to turn out because I'm not used to playing with mats. And they're all mats. Um, so I'm not going to put a vibrant shade in the crease, I don't think because it always ends up muddy so they're all going to be like on the lid kind of like a rainbow eye I just hope the um, eyeshadows don't get muddy I think the trick will be I think the trick will be to not blend them as much, just stamp them and make them vibrant. I think I want to go in with a little bit of heat as well, just to make the crease a little bit deeper. So I'm going in with the same brush. They appear to be blending out okay. I heard quite a few people say that this palette wasn't up to elf formula well let's face it guys this palette was released a good couple of years ago now and elf's formula is elf's formula has gotten a lot better since elf's eyeshadow formula has gotten a lot better since i mean those elf quads i mean how great are them I've not tried an eyeshadow palette that good for £3, let's put it that way. Want to blend it out a little bit more with this fluffy brush. And I'm going to clean this Cargo Magic Eye Brush off. This is a really good eye brush just to stamp eyeshadow on with. So I'm hoping if I use this it's going to turn out better um, than it would if I just went in with a normal eyeshadow brush. So I think I'm going to go in with this yellow first. It's called Solar. Look how bright that is. Hopefully it will transfer just as bright onto the eyelids. No. Oh, it's not doing. I now know what people are saying about these eyeshadows, they're just not pigmented are they? You can see it, they're very, very, very subdued. I'm 
right let's try the grain which is called evergreen which is like a forest I just wish it was a little bit more pigmented and then the last one is blue this could get really muddy now so the blue one is called electric and on the brush it looks so so blue but they were all looking quite pigmented There's nothing I can do either to get them more pigmented. If there were shimmers, I'd um, wet the brush, but obviously you can't do anything with mattes. Um, so yeah, that's the best I'm gonna get it, and then we're gonna put all three shades on the lash line so it matches I'm just going to go in with this Zoeva 310 spot liner brush so we use yellow first so let's take that on this brush first doesn't feel like it's doing anything have I got a better brush than that I'm sure I do I think that spotlight brush was more for inner corner highlight and um, so we're changing it to the BH Cosmetics one so I'm going back in with Solar no. then I'm going in with Evergreen basically we're just matching it to I was looking on top and then I'm gonna go in with electric which is showing up a lot better than the rest of the shades so that's what we're looking like so far I've just winged that electric out so let me go and do it the other eye I'll probably speed it up a little bit because you don't really need to see it again has just kind of gone down there right then I'm going back in with the white chocolate shade just for the brow bone I mean is it terrible no I just wish it was more pigmented hope the rest of the palette performs better we need it in a corner as well see what we've got in the palette to use okay I think the only shade to use really is pave this one here I've never used that before so first impressions on this one as well That's nice. Okay, so we're done with the palette. My expectations of this palette wasn't met um, just because they're not pigmented. These three that I've tried here just aren't pigmented. They're not a true representation of how they look in the eyeshadow palette. They look 
super neon don't they and they're just not so hopefully pretty random will pull this palette out again soon and we can test some of the eyeshadows um, but for now this is the look I'm just gonna put on some mascara and some eyeliner if I can find my eyeliner that is I'm just going to use this one, I think. Right, so I'm just going to use the Ted Baker one because I can't find the Too Faced one. I'll be using this after the Too Faced one anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Mascara, we're using the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. blue needs blending out a little bit on the left eye okay let me go and grab a lipstick and then we're done 